What's up, what's good, what's going on, family? So let's jump straight in and just see what's going on. I am going in with the message of love. This is going to be for your Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as that ninth house. Um, there are very particular messages here on the Manjula Awakening um, for the ninth house collected. But even with that being said, just take the piece of the resonates and bless someone else with the rest, okay? So we have play hard here is the message of, of love. There's a need to find time to laugh, goof off, and get, like, just enjoy um, an, other people's energetic space at this time. Let's jump in and see how this situation I feel like that whatever this situation is that you're inquiring about, if I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like that you're only going to get confirmations here in this reading. I feel like that you already intuitively know all of the answers that you seek about this. Okay. What's the situation here for the sign of Sagittarius? Guys, I hope that this message is finding you all in good health and in good spirits. I think it's time to lighten up. I think things have been just a little too heavy between you and this energy that we're inquiring about. I do feel like that things are changing. There's a shifting going on between you and this energy. And things are changing. Um, things are being revealed. Okay. Oof. And you can expect this person to be expressing something to you in the very near, near future here, okay? This person is definitely thinking about you. Um, there are some changes that this person is going through. These changes aren't as easy for this person to process. But whatever these changes are, it's causing them to take a different outlook What's the advice here for Sagittarius? Yeah, new opportunity. Abundance. Who is this for Sagittarius? How would Sagittarius know who this person is? Who is this? Ooh, so we have the nine of pentacles and the emperor. Um, so I feel like that this this could potentially be an Aries. Doesn't necessarily have to be. I do feel like that this is um, a masculine energy. Um, I feel like that this is someone who is. Financially stable for sure. This is someone who is. You, this is definitely someone that is not taking the back seat for no, <laughs> for no one. Okay, this is someone who would appear to have their stuff together. Okay, you could have had a conflict with this person. Hmm. Okay. Like I said, this could be an Aries. What is this person's overall feelings as it pertains to Sagittarius? What is this person's overall feelings as it pertains to Sagittarius? The Nine of Swords. The Strength card. The Queen of Cups. This person has a lot of love for you. So I definitely feel like that this is someone that you've had an encounter with. Okay. Um, how their soul feels like their spirit. We have the Four of Pentacles. 
in the Queen of Pentacles. The Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck with the Eight of Wands to the Six of Pentacles. So, this person's overall feelings for you is the Nine of Swords. This person does have a lot of fear and anxieties as it pertains to you. This person is in their head as it pertains to reaching out to you. Let's see why. Why is this person's overall feelings for Sagittarius, the Nine of Swords spirit? What is this saying? Because if you're resonating with us and you're here or you're still with us at uh, 5 minutes and 48 seconds in, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below as it does help circulate these messages out to other Sagittarians in need, as well as just give your readers some feedback that these are the messages that you want to keep seeing come out. Um, so yeah, the Queen of Swords is coming out to clarify the nine of swords as well as the knight of swords and the king of cups it's a lot of energies here so i feel like that this person um they know that there's a need to really be honest and speak some truths here okay and i feel like that that brings this person some anxieties because they're having to speak the truth if this person is interested in you okay they do want i'm going to be honest with you for some of you all this is someone wanting another go around with you um ha for those of you all that this is someone wanting another go around the go the um approach to getting another opportunity with you is not going to be one that is going to be so easy to achieve okay is what i feel even if this is someone new this isn't something that is just going to snap your fingers and come together. This is going to require some methodical planning, okay, if I'm being honest with you. Um, and uh, there's this energy where... I do see in their heart space with this person coming up as the Queen of Cups that they do have a lot of emotions for you, Sagittarius. There is this energy of it's like there's a lot riding on this. So there's not so it's like are you with them or do you want to do this? Is this, you know, it's 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 that kind of energy here that I'm feeling with the King of Swords. They could come off very arrogant. Um, or you could come off, you know what I'm saying? You could come off very arrogant. But they definitely feel like that you are cold. Um, their overall feelings for you, they, I do, they do know that you're wise and diplomatic. But they also know that you're very... Um, emotionally detached they know that you have emotions for them underneath but you're not expressing them and you're um you're not gonna make it easy for this person to approach you and they are very much so aware of this in their thought spaces we have this strength card why is this <laughs> they they feel like that you're very confident that when they think of like their thoughts as it pertains to you is that you know that you're very confident you're you're very resilient and um you've overcome a lot clarify the strength card for this person's thought space as it pertains to sag there's also a lot that you hold back they think there's a lot that they that you hold back They definitely, <clears throat> you know, this person has a lot of fear. Because, like, this person is trying to learn how to be softer. 
and to be nurturing towards you. But this person also wonders if you are like, if, like with everything that you are holding back and with the person that you have become towards them because of whatever's taking place between you all here. Um, they do wonder if um, if they take a leap of faith and they do is 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 that nurturing energy able to be rekindled here but i do feel this energy of this person wanting to um let's get their message from you real quick message to you um because i do get this energy of this person wanting to be able to nurture and take care of you in a way that you once once nurtured and took care of them they're trying to figure out how to be as compassionate Give me clarity on this. Okay. Um we'll we'll break this message down as it is part of the spirit. I just hadn't pulled it out yet. Um, this person, like I said, this person does wonder if the nurturing energy is salvageable, okay? And this person is trying to, like, in this person's practical world, I do feel like that they're trying to, like, this person, in order for them, like, they're trying to balance something out in their home and work life and they must balance this out in order to be able to truly offer you this opportunity we'll get there but i do wonder if this person like um once they balance that out they they do they do intend on offering you a tangible opportunity okay um Let's see. In their heart spaces, we have the Queen of Cups. This person has a lot of love for you, for sure. Yeah, there goes the Empress here. So we have the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. It's the Eight of Swords. So in this person's heart space, they do have the Five of Swords and the Three of Swords. There's some trust issues here with for without a doubt. I do feel like that um in this person's heart space, whatever's taken place in the past, they're they're they took on they they took a heavy hit their heart space did take a heavy hit. There is something in the past that took place between the two of you all. If this is someone from your past, okay? If this is someone new, they're still dealing with some sort of heartache. And this heartache, this three of swords, this pain, this loss, they have to heal from it. And it does still cause them to sabotage sometimes, okay? Whatever this pain is, it did weaken their, it weakened their willpower. It weakened their third chakra. And so they do have to heal this. And I'm not going to lie, based off of their message f message f to you from them, I do feel like that, that Three of Swords does stem from you all. And <clears throat> until this person actually does heal this Three of Swords, they're not really able to not come off as a selfish person. They do want to be with you. They do, they know what you mean to them. It's just, they're not, their heart and their mind is not in alignment right now is what I'm getting. Mentally, they want to offer you a, a, a tangible offer. Like they've mentally, they've made the final decision to make an offer. However, I do feel like that there's still some self-care that this person has to 
do in order to fully be ready for this new phase here because spiritually they are still holding on to some things but they do hope to have a future with you but I just don't feel like that they're ready in this moment to be with you because of the three of swords that took place between the two of you all in the past they still have not processed and healed this and because of that they do still sabotage even moments that should be easy or natural flowing okay let's move forward to their spirit why is the four of pentacles here Guys, if you all are still rocking with us and feeling like this is your message, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button, guys. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups here again. So they're still trying to balance this out. And here, here's the thing. So I'm going to tell you what I feel like that this person is trying to balance out. This person is trying to balance out. There's this trust. They do have a trust issue. There's a trust issue that looms around this connection here. They don't like you've you all both at one point in time have left one another to be left out in the code, not included one another. So like this person is trying to one. I do feel like that this person is like how you'll know who this person is is they appear to have control like they appear to be financially stable and in control of their life however I'm, i can't help but to notice that i am getting wind of some type of financial rockiness right now you know what i'm saying like i do sense and smell the the nine of pentacles here however i feel like that their finances are kind of stretched thin right now okay so there's this energy of having some sort of trust issue as it pertains to money the material world for sure being left out not being included <clears throat> Before I get to the Queen of Pentacles, what's this energy? What's the what's the financial? What's the message? Here, yeah, let's use that deck. Spirit is telling. Yeah, temperance. Things are balancing out. I do feel like whatever there's a need to open up about this financial issue. Somebody is not someone's financial life. They keep it very secret let's see what's going on with what is this financial energy that i feel what is going on here in the financial energy energy that i feel in this reading Actually, if I can be honest, okay, so here's what I'm getting, Sag. This person is actually trying to figure out This person is actually trying to pin out, I would say, I feel like a gift. Like, spiritually They could not trust you. They could not trust you. Finan There's something about the financial world. They want to gift you something, but they're not sure how you will respond to it, how you will retaliate to it. There's, there's definitely a trust issue as it pertains to the material world. Whatever the material trust issue is, it does stem from a... It, it stems from words or 
the like past disagreements, verbal past verbal disagreements are affecting this person's trust issues when it comes to the tangible world with you. Take that as it resonates. But I do feel like that this person wants to offer you some type of financial gift. But this offering, this gift that this person wants, and I and this all came out to clarify the financial energy that I'm feeling. This person wants to offer you something financially, but they don't want you to eight of swords like they don't want to be locked in chained in or confined to this for the long term something like that take that as it resonates uh let's see why is the queen of pentacles here for the actions for uh what's going on in the real world in terms of this connection the queen of pentacles the knight of cups the nine of cups and the eight of swords you see what i'm saying this person does want to make you some sort of offer here they do they do want to make some sort of offer it's it's a romantic offer it's it's it is some type of There is this desire to make a romantic offer here, okay? However, they're overthinking it. They are overthinking it. Whatever this offer is, they're overthinking it um, because... Give me just one second, Sag. This person is definitely... You and this person, I will say this. There's a need for self-care to take place here. So to take place with this Eight of Swords. Because in this person's heart space is Eight of Swords. And then over here, for what's actually taking place in this connection, we have the Eight of Swords. So there are some disappointments that still swarm around in this person's mind that have to, yours, you and this person's mind, that needs some self-care. Give me... Spirit, can you please give me some practical self-care for this Eight of Swords here? Practical self-care for this Eight of Swords, Spirit. Denial, yeah. Denial to accept a situation, unhealthy cycles and or addictions. Feel what you feel. So this is that energy of overthinking something and like not allowing, denying yourself the feeling. Like you're disappointed. Okay, dive into that disappointment. Address that disappointment. It must be addressed and it must be felt. You can't ignore it. You can't repress these emotions. Something has something was unrequited and it must be expressed. Someone's unsure of how to equally requite because of past disappointments. Like how do they requite this? reciprocate this when they're still past the disappointments well there's a need to feel you have the right to feel what you feel but remember what you always have a right remember that you always have a right to be happy you know what i'm saying so you can choose to sit in the disappointment or you can choose to be happy and go after your heart's true desires someone is having to un choose happiness instead of choosing to sit in past disappointments here and that's what this person is going through i feel like that that's you in this person i do feel like that this person is still struggling with some type of past three of swords okay but this person does think about the message to you is that they do think about you a lot and they do still love you 
and they can't stop thinking about you. They do hope that there's a future with you one day. They do know what you mean to them. But right now they have to put themselves first in order to process this hurt. Okay. So within the in, so for the next seven days, if this is your storyline for the next if, what actions can you expect from this person in the next seven days if this is your story? I, I, I don't feel like that you can expect a lot from this person as they are putting themselves first right now. But let's just see what the cards are saying. Yeah. Right now, I just feel like that this person is going to be strategizing, okay? Like, yeah, they're going to be doing some healing. They're going to be doing some healing. They're going to be giving themselves some compassion. This, I feel like that this person is going to be getting in the place of accepting that they do. Like this person is just now getting in the space that they do want a new opportunity with Sagittarius. And what is it that they need to do? Like this person is going to is getting into the place of identifying the things that they need to identify. Identifying what needs to be healed so that they can actually embrace and just accept the fact that they do want a new opportunity with Sagittarius. And once they get in that place, I feel like that you can expect something to be expressed. But I don't feel like that that's in the next seven days, okay? All right, Sagittarius. Let's get a closing message. Arcane, um, uh, Spirit, Archangel Michael, Universe, Moon, Gods. What is... The closing word here for the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective that have resonated, resonated with this reading. Thank you, Spirit. Work through your fears. Work through your fears, Sagittarius. So uh, don't allow your fears to create these uh, self-fulfilling prophecies. Um, uh, when the fear arises, address it. Ask it what it is. Feel what you feel. Open up to that feeling. Give that feeling space and permission to be felt. And then and give it a timeline. And then cleanse yourself of that and move on to the next feeling, okay? But you must work through your fears. This is New Moon in Scorpio. All right, Sagittarius, I love you. And I hope that this message was able to offer you some guidance on your journey. If this message resonated, resonates, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, family, let's choose peace. Love and light, guys.